Security here at home is stepping up in response to the attack, and our senior justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, has more from Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Michael. Some major cities, including New York, are stepping up security at landmarks. But this morning, our sources are saying there's no intelligence pointing to a specific plot here at home. But make no mistake, stabbings and attacks by vehicles are among the biggest concerns that law enforcement officials have in terms of terror. Right in my hands here are four different bulletins in the last four months warning about attacks involving vehicles or knives. That's exactly what ISIS has been calling for, and it's working. There have been at least 14 vehicle attacks since 2014, including the horrific massacre in Nice, France, the Berlin Christmas market nightmare, and here at home at Ohio State when a suspect hit pedestrians and then stabbed multiple people, Michael. And uh, Pierre, how are the U.S. law enforcement, how are they responding to this? The good news is that U.S. law enforcement has been thinking about and preparing for these kind of attacks for years. In New York City, during the Times Square New Year's celebration, dump trucks and other barricades were put up to restrict access to crowds. We even saw dump trucks used to protect crowds at the Republican National Convention. The bad news, every day cars are traveling along streets full of pedestrians. How do you protect those people, Michael? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Pierre.